Memorial Day, the area of Providence, Rhode Island celebrates. On this day, few are thinking about how safe their food will be. Although earlier this year, an outbreak of salmonella swept through the ocean state. Epidemiology notified us at 3.15 in the afternoon that Defusco's was one of the places that served some food there. Uh, we immediately sent people out on a Friday afternoon, and in less than four hours, we had done a complete investigation. We had closed one of their facilities, recalled all their foods, embargoed all their foods in their other place, uh, did a recall and a press release. And I think that's what we do with all of these things, is all right, what controls need to be in place to make sure more people don't get sick. The salmonella outbreak was linked to egg boxes used to store pastries. The bacteria spread from the bakery to include 23 locations in total. 79 people were reported sick, and two died, including 84-year-old Cranston resident Frank Castelli. My mother treated him as he had the flu a couple days, and then um, on the third day he had breakfast, he had lunch, and my mother was downstairs and she heard a thud and my father um, just was unresponsive on the floor. Called the rescue, he went to the hospital. This intern kept doing more and more tests and finally um, found out that he did have salmonella. And it was a tremendous shock because my father was in very good health. Rhode Island has only a state level food safety inspection department. In downtown Providence, Lab officials work as fast as possible to find the source of outbreaks. We get specimens from food and we get them from people. The identification of a salmonella takes about 24 hours to get it to group, another 24 hours to 36 hours to get to serotype, and then the fingerprinting takes a couple of days. Like many states, Rhode Island faces a budget crisis, and health officials worry how money concerns might affect outbreak prevention. Well, I think what's happening with um, food safety right now is unfortunately at the local level and state level, you know, budgets have reduced the number of people in that area. It's vital for the, for the state to have more than just seven slash five uh, food inspectors. Food inspection positions have been reduced over the years due to attrition. Today, Rhode Island has seven inspectors in charge of roughly 8,000 food establishments. Such a workload forces the health department to focus on high-risk situations at the expense of routine inspections. But some in the private sector are reaching out to help increase food safety practices. We go in for a fee and do inspections, so to speak. And I say inspections, I use that word loosely, it's an audit. This is a, a, truly a public safety issue. This is not an issue of just because we don't have enough money in the budget government is supposed to protect the people, and I think this is one of the places that they've fallen short. As Rhode Island continues to rework its food safety industry, residents must be vigilant about the types of food they eat and where they eat it.